So now we know how important Draken is. Uh, God, I don't know. Do you guys think he's going to be able to, like, is, is Takemichi going to be able to save him? That's what I want to know. I don't know. Like, I feel like he should be able to, but then I wouldn't be surprised if he's not. So it's hard to make a prediction. I must say he will. I think... I think I think that's the way the direction the stories are go. I think they're gonna try to um to change the past dramatically. So I think he will s- somehow like like I think he'll be able to save or at least like get like get him out of the the area where he would be in danger. So. Oh, I don't know how he's gonna do that. They're apparently they're gonna fight against this other group called Mobius. Was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So it, it's I don't think as the vice captain of your gang, I. Don't think there's any way for you to back out of this fight. Like you have to be there. Okay. Well, and then like the bright idea that Takemichi had is, hey, I'll just be his bodyguard, even though I don't have any like use any fighting like ability you're, you're or anything. You're weak as fuck. Right. Dude, and then like, oh my god, I want to just punch the guy so hard. Right. How dare he cheat on Hina like that? I don't know <laughs> what happened, but it doesn't look so hot for the guy. But apparently, like the past uh I guess with how how it I can't works. explain the time back. travel. Yeah, you can't explain yeah. it. Right? Apparently, he's kind of a dick when he's not like a dog. Right. So it's like, what what are you doing, guy? Honestly. Yeah, basically, you're learning Takamichi as he was, was a dick and yeah. never really kind of seemed to care for Hina until these events in the future happen and he realizes, like, oh, damn, I really did care. Mm-hmm. Okay, I would like to, sorry, I haven't, I haven't been here, just hopping in now, so I don't know what all, what all has been said, but one thing that I noticed in the episode was well, the girl that was hovering over him, the one that mm-hmm. he Emma. was, yeah. Emma, Emma. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, she obviously likes Draken, so she, it's, it sounded like she had kind of, like, coerced him into that position a little bit, too, like, I feel like it, it's not necessarily just a case of, like, he was outright cheating on Hina. I'm yeah, trying to, like, it did seem like it was a little bit, um, uh of a back and forth you know he obviously wanted mm-hmm. that to happen but it sounds like he didn't do anything really to stop it because I, I think he said something along the line of like oh you know no kissing or anything so he obviously must have brought up something in that regard i mean yeah. i think it's it doesn't really matter in the scheme of things much but mm-hmm. um what did you guys think of the whole introduction of the the tokyo manji gang because this was the first you know real meeting that you get to see oh, where s- again i'm having trouble you know, keeping, track, gathering. keeping track of all the names so I had to go through Wikipedia. That's okay. Yep, that's gonna I, be. I I mean, there's a lot like, of people. Yeah. Out like, there. I made a list of everything. You, like you, honestly, you're talking so to hard. the guy who I forgot Draken's name last week, and now it's like, <laughs> oh god, he's <laughs> made even well, worse. They each have the first and last name, depending on their relationship with another character. They'll be referred to by either that first or last name. Then there's their oh, alias. Man. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Did um did any of you guys pick up on the censorship that was in this episode? No. The censorship? No. Okay. And I guess you wouldn't, you know, right? Since I'm the only one that's read the source material. But um, specifically when the gang first arrives, um, the first part is they show the top of the motorcycle engine and they uh-huh. show part of the Manji symbol, but they don't show the full part of it. So that's one part because they don't want to show the Manji symbol because they think people are going to confuse oh, it yeah. with a swastika. And oh. the, the more the more blatant part is when um, uh, Takamichi and uh, Hina first show up and those two other gang members show up and they're just like, who the hell are you? Like, what are you doing here? If you remember the motorcycle lights that are taking up like half the screen, like across the entire screen, like very in like bright yellow. The reason they did that is another censorship because all of the jackets have the wow. Manji symbol on them. And so my fear, and it's a very prominent symbol mm-hmm. in the show and like Takamichi and everybody is going to be rolling with these gang members for a while. So I'm very concerned that like they're going to be doing very weirdly shot or like usage of light in certain scenes, but I'm glad to hear none of you guys really. Like, I mean, well, I thought it was odd, that. but I thought it was supposed to like put you in the character's view of like how intimidating it would be when you couldn't see the, like the group. Mm-hmm, you have all the That's bike lights. Like. Yeah. They... But why did the author use that symbol? Because like when I was doing th- going through these Wikipedia searches and I saw it, I was like, the fuck! Like this is the swastika. I mean, it's it's really an odd choice. Uh, I think. If but it's Manji reverse, is, it's supposed to mean something else. Oh, well, yeah, it? the verse is like but, it's very, it's like it's a holy symbol in Buddhism. So it's like you see that um, a lot in Japan. Like when you look up um, temples that? in Google Maps, it shows the Manji symbols. But then there's like the cases of people like being pissed at like why there's swastikas in like my Google Maps. So uh-huh. okay. So it's yeah. Like, so 
So I, that's, I don't know, what, I don't, I don't know what, like, what the relationship is to the gang, unless it's like unless mm-hmm. they're tied to like a temple or something or something religious. But I think it's, I think it's more beside the mm-hmm. behind the sense of you know what Mikey had said in the previous episode, where the reason that he's starting this gang is he really wants to carve out this place in life for delinquents to kind of call home. So it's almost like you know the unity of it and i think that's okay. more of the direct connection of the manji symbol in the relation to like buddhism and all these other things um but that was just something obviously i had noticed you know with that that context that i did have and reddit was absolutely having a field day up in arms with the they're, censorship they're always like yeah. they're always like but, and, and it is frustrating because it is a big part of the show mm-hmm. so it's now yeah, the question, like, how are they going to navigate around this? And a lot of people actually are trying to write to the studios to say, like, hey, can you change this? Like, who decided that this censorship mm-hmm. needed to be done in, like, this manner? Yeah, uh, it's, it's like, I don't know what their plan is going to be. And if it's really not a swastika, then why is it even censored? Like, who started the censorship train anyways? You know what I mean? Like, who And it's something so that? simple that could be fixed at the beginning of the episode of saying, like, a just mm-hmm. disclaimer, like, hey, yeah. this is what this symbol is. It has no relation to a swastika. Yeah. And it's like, you as a viewer should be smart enough to be like, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. But it's like, there's obviously someone somewhere that's just like, oh, no, this is a PR disaster waiting to happen. And it's really unfortunate to the source material. I, yeah. I feel like with the way uh, society is nowadays, I can see why they would be worried about even attempting it because if you have someone that's like very ignorant, right? Or they're just like not going to care to do this little research that they need to, they might just look at it the wrong way, blow it up. Yep. And once it's on the news, it's kind of hard it, to recover from it, Yeah, it's very, it's so, it takes the easy route for uh, sure. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know the full story. So I'm not, I'm not going to say this is the case. Like, like people, people on Reddit, especially they got blamed. They got blamed like the American localizers, but also like Japanese companies, they're very like cautious about this sort of PR thing. Like they hate being with that, that kind of like that kind of like like having to like get up the message and all that. They hate having to explain things like that, so they rather avoid it in the first place if they can. Yeah. So I can say either side, either they're... like like the, the American localizers or even even like someone told like Japanese company like like this could be a problem, and then the Japanese company yeah. like took it on themselves to do that because they didn't want to deal with with the it'll be issues, interesting to so. see what they do because i've heard talks that like potentially some versions from like the uh asian side are going to be uncensored potentially moving forward um and i agree to your point david like now it's you know on our coup's point of it's you know now in this anime format that's much more widely accessible in terms of like the way that they're airing it Mm-hmm. it just makes no sense because it's like well okay the manga came out in japan and all these places they didn't do any censorship for that so it's like mm-hmm. why would you censor it something just because it's in an animated format you don't do any censorship with the you know manga uh i guess it's just the the audience it's easier to reach a wider audience with with, with anime i think they knew like, i think when they started the manga they did right. like a lot, lot of manga authors they don't they think it's just gonna be japan only so they don't think about this kind of thing that when mm-hmm. they made the anime, they probably realized it's got to be like reaching a wider yeah. audience. So. I mean, I guess if anything, I'd have to go back and like the only other relationship that I can think of to like Nazism is like Helsing as a series. And I don't think Helsing did anything to like censor things around that. They're just like, no, oh, this is what it is. Like, you're either going to like it or you're not going to like it. And right. for something like this, it's just an unfortunate Plus, there's, thing. But, well, um, there's like, besides that, there's like, there's been other times where like where Japanese companies are just surprised about the backlash they get. By like by just it's like sometimes it just randomly gets picked up by like random news outlets and they have to deal with the backlash and so it's oh. happened a couple of times in the past like 10 20 years that like that they are aware yeah. they they are aware that like this can go wrong so yeah. again being cautious again, I, I don't yeah i don't want to so, detract too much i think it's just something that i don't know the i guess i'm gonna either, yeah, so. myself until it's like something like really blatant because i do feel like there were some other scenes that from like a cinematography standpoint felt mm-hmm. like very awkward cuts like one directly and then we can talk about you know the rest of the, the episode here but um one directly is like when they're panning towards the stairs leading up to the shrine uh-huh. it, there's a very like awkward cut where like you know it's like zooming in and there's like music towards it and then it goes silent and then they just cut to like mikey at like the top of the shrine and everything where like i'm pretty sure in the manga the reason that they do that is it's like all the members heading up the stairs and they have, you know, like the swastika, well, not the swastika, but the manji symbol. And like, uh-huh. that's something where like, they just did a quick cut. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Some parts just felt like very disjointed. 
But I noticed that too, me. actually. I rewound and I was like, wait, what happened? Did I miss something? I actually rewound that part because you're right. It was awkward. And there's a part where like Mikey is talking and it feels like, you know, they're building up to this very epic moment. And then it just kind of like goes quiet and it's still like focusing on his face. And then it just cuts to something completely mm. like different. And I don't know, it just felt a little bit jarring. But uh, uh, well, for me, it like it didn't bother my viewing experience whatsoever. Yeah. So I, I guess I wasn't paying as much attention, but same here. Uh, yeah. And I think that's good because Sasha, you know, when I asked him, he had the same exact kind of viewpoint as you guys. And I guess it's it's me now seeing the unfortunate side of knowing like, like the source material, and now it's like bothering my experience of the anime. It's like if you didn't know it, that's why like you didn't like you wouldn't pay attention to it. It's unless we get to that part later where it does become like very latent. But in this beginning mm-hmm. part, like we don't know anything about it, so. Like, yeah, for sure. They don't like they don't like um, hint it that like it's very important besides just the name Anji. So the definitely. only the only part that bothered me was at the beginning when they basically said like, oh, why don't I just tell her that um that basically <laughs> that be too easy. Day. and and then <laughs> oh my god, like, oh you're gonna take the easy way out and and then he basically was just like implying that she won't even believe you. I was like, bitch. He's fucking dating her. Like I, I was like, yeah, and then he just told her brother. Right brother and you guys are so, yeah, like, I love how Naoto's explanation was just like, oh, the only reason I believed you is because I was into the occult back then. I was so fucking. Like, I was just like, oh, honestly, the like, more you guys pointed out, I'm just like, man, like. I must have okay. just breezed that over that when I was reading bad. the original yeah. manga. Yeah, I kind of feel like I actually like the fact that it was in there because I kind of felt like it was like tongue in cheek. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I feel like they know I that know. Pe- anybody that reads or watches like, this is thinking that. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. The reasoning, <laughs> the reasoning was just fucking terrible. And then honestly, I I couldn't remember. I, I didn't really remember what happened the rest of the episode. Like that that shit triggered me so hard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that I just it, the rest of the episode was a blur. I felt like really? it was. I, I felt no, like I it was like needed. That was so perfectly was... placed. Yeah, I thought it was really it was, good. It was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. The second half was strong in the sense of I completely forgot. Like when they're introducing, you know, why the uh, Pachin is upset with the Mobius gang is because you know the friend's buddy's girlfriend got beaten and raped and all these horrible things. I didn't remember it being like that brutal and graphic of like the explanation pretty and then brutal. the whole scene at the end you know where uh mikey and uh draken go and mm-hmm. visit you know the girl and the father and mother come in and they're just like mm-hmm. you know completely devastated and reaming them for dragging them into that world and mikey you know originally not understanding that and now really seeing the relationship where draken is the heart that mikey you know doesn't really know how to kind of utilize i guess he's very like singular dimension but there's right. reasons for that that will come <laughs> well i mean like they're also like middle schoolers so i can see why like mikey's like naive <laughs> in that way so yeah that's the other thing you feel like it's kind of the crazy older in the yeah they're, older. like they're just middle schoolers and like well, all that's, yeah. that's what i was saying like when like they had that the, the delinquent gang in the beginning it's like the kyo misa whatever or, like you're mm-hmm. supposed to be like like a third year middle school student okay yeah He's supposed to be 14, 15. Yeah, it, it's whatever, man. Makes sense to me. Yeah. I mean, I've always yeah. found, like, gang representation in anime and manga specifically <laughs> to be pretty freaking weird. Like, I don't know, a lot of gang stuff here, like, if you'll see media about it here in the States, a lot of it has to do with, like, drug trafficking. You know, they kind of spring up around those types of businesses. But, like... Okay, we who we watched that one show. Oh, Ikibukuro. We watched Ikibukuro. <laughs> or like, which like oh, they I were good ballet that. dancers who like helped their community. Like, I don't know. I just couldn't understand. Like, what about you makes you a gang? What is your purpose? I don't get it. And then, even like Fruits Basket, for example, like the main character's mom had been part of a gang when she was younger. But like all they did was skip school and like hang out. <laughs> but like, they were like a gang. gangster boys. Yeah. Oh, then, we skip school. And then, there's this one and i i mean i i don't want to say it's a good thing but like when i did hear that there are actual things that happen with other gangs there's like turf wars i haven't heard a reason yet like why they all exist but i mean at least they're acting like a gang i guess yeah like yeah so but the fact that they're all middle schoolers eh, what it's just added i mean whatever at least there's like a reason for what they're doing i guess <laughs> sure sure yeah <laughs> Yes. I'm uh, done. Yeah, I don't have much yeah. else to say. So, I'm really there for Tokyo Avengers. Hopefully, mm-hmm. hopefully, Justin doesn't go too crazy from. No, I, I'm obviously going to try to keep myself more reserved for. I, I'm sure this was the first time, you know, obviously, 
it's pretty not blatant because obviously for you guys, none of you ne- notice it and wouldn't notice it as a first time viewer. But hmm. I guess that's good. I'm I'm happy to see that the show is still going well for people that are animated. Uh, the one thing I want to say is like, man, I was hoping that like something will happen in the pre- some, like someone would have like done the thing where something inexplicable happens and they say, oh, obviously because he went time traveling in the past. I wanted to like say some sort of joke with that, but it didn't happen. So. I missed it. Like, well, I feel like they're not gonna do that. I know. I mean, they already they already kicked off one of the the plot holes with that joke in the beginning, so I'm sure it might come in later as well. Maybe.